the mixtape, you know. But the mixtape, you know, it was just that was when I was beginning to catch the African vibe, understanding that I could blend the two. The two, right? So if you listen to some of the hooks in that, you know, we had things like she go kwashe you, hey, she go kwashe you, hey. Even though the rap was hip hop, like right. typical American rap, mm -hmm. you know, and but I always say thank God for people like Reggie Rockstone. They came to redefine and and re you know place us back in sure. order. You know that you know sure. you can still spit your tree and spit your swahili. And use that flow and yeah, use that and still you know and it still will be hip hop. You know, shout so, out to Reggie. <laughs> you know, big up Reggie. And I did a few songs with uh, Reggie at the time. I so Reggie was actually on that mixtape, and right. when I knew that you know the light was was on me was when I took the finished mixtape to Reggie mm -hmm. for Reggie to just listen because Reggie used to also be a judge on Lyrical Hype which I, right. I had won um, Lyrics' Lounge sorry which I had won so like Reggie listens to this sound and on my way Reggie sends a message and says track 5 is live mm -hmm. um, I need to jump on it and I was like what? you know like this is like the grandpapa like he exactly. wants to jump on my for him song to say that you know and i'm there and later you know tiny also hears one song bad boy and he's like ah, i'm i'm gonna jump on a remix of this song right you know so that's how you know it, it all started and around the time if you were not a rapper that always had like your 32 bars ready forget because we're always <laughs> coming to your house like we literally come to your house and knock you know, we knock, okay. say, yeah, Charlie, we've heard 